You okay? What's up? I didn't understand that. Hello, good morning. Welcome to the English Language School. As always, we are very happy that you are here. Happy Tuesday. So today we will talk about the occupations, how to use to be concerning your occupation and your profession. We will have a reading, as usual, and a quiz to practice the vocabulary. We will also cover and respond to closed questions. How do you ask a question? How do you answer a question? What kinds of questions are there? All of these things and more in the lesson today. I don't see anybody there yet, but almost. Ooh, my God, don't I feel famous just like that. Boom. All, all of the people. All of the people. I hope you have a wonderful day today. Are you ready? It looked like I wasn't talking to anybody, but I've got loads of viewers. Look at me all famous. Today I'm wearing a blue dress because we're going to a ceremony. Yeah, I got three of them. It went from five to three. All right. <laughs> Hi, Lily Beth. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. All right. So first things first, let's start with the irregular verbs that I did not say we were going to practice, but we're going to practice. Sorry. <laughs> if you remember, we practiced the irregular verbs in the form for the present and for the past yesterday. And today we are going to practice again just to practice the pronunciation. And um, if you have a question about the pronunciation or the um, meaning of a word, you can type your question in the form below for the comment section. I had to take off my shoes. <laughs> okay. We're good? Perfect. All right. Now, this time we will mute this video so there will be no audio. Okay? I will say the form in the present, and you give me the form in the past. Are you ready? It looks perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Is. Thank you, bless you. Is. I don't see was, but I'm like. Yeah, very good. R. Begin. Flow. Break. Build, buy, catch, come, come, cut. Do. Very nice. Draw. Drive. Eat. F 
fall. Variant fell, fell. Feed. Find. Fly. Get. Give. Go. Have. Hold. Keep. No. Lead. Leave. Let. Make. Me. Talked about this yesterday. Mm -hmm. Pay. Ah, look. Put. Ah. Ride. Run. Say. See. Sell. Sell. Send. Again, we set. Sit. <laughs> sleep. I want to sleep. <laughs> Smell. Speak. Speed. Spend. Swim. Teach. Tell. Think. Thought, thought, thought. Throw. Win. Right. Excellent, excellent. All right, one more thing. I want to practice the past tense regular verbs as we talked yesterday with the form ed. Today we are just going to practice the first sound with the t, t, t 
ending. ED can be pronounced in the following ways. T, D, or ID. Those are the only three options. T, D, ID. So first, let's pronounce or practice with the pronunciation of T, T, T. Mm -hmm. And we can have the sound on this one because it's hard. Remember, the sound is never ed. So, announced? No. It is announced. Ready? Announced. Announced. A asked. Asked. Put the volume down just a touch. There we go. Asked, baked, balanced, balanced, brushed, brushed, developed, developed, dressed, dressed. Can you put dropped the down on the speaker just a touch? On the speaker itself. Dropped. Impressed. Impressed. Increased. Increased. Influenced. Influenced. Introduced. Introduced. Liked, liked, locked, locked, missed, missed, packed, packed, parked, parked, passed, passed, practiced, practiced, produced, produced, promised, promised, reduced, reduced, relaxed, relaxed, replaced, replaced, searched, searched, stopped, stopped, talked. Talked. Washed. Washed. Watched. Watched. Worked. Worked. Beautiful. Perfect. 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 Um, let me think. What's our next thing? Let's go to our PowerPoint so we can talk about open and closed questions as well as occupations. Mm -hmm. If you remember from yesterday, when we have a question for my beautiful Spanish students, cuando tenemos una pregunta, when we have a question, hay dos tipos de la pregunta. There are two types of a question. We have an open question, una pregunta abierto, que significa que podamos contestar con cualquier información, or a closed question, una pregunta cerrada. A closed question is when you have only the option to say yes or no. For example, is he, is he a police officer? To make this a question, as you know, you will have one verb, in this case, one form to be, and one subject, in this case, he. So, for my Spanish students, Para tener una pregunta, vamos a empezar con una forma de estar y luego nuestro sujeto, en este caso, he, porque estamos refiriendo a él. Because we are talking about he or one man, we will use the word he. Is he? Is he a police officer? Is he a police officer? ¿Cuál es la respuesta por esa pregunta? What's the answer for this question? Tenemos dos opciones. We have two options. Yes or no. So, in the answer, we will include the verb, to be, and the subject, he. So, is he a police officer? Mm, yes, he is. Yes, he is. 
or in the negative, no, he isn't. Do you remember from yesterday? For the negative contraction, instead of, instead of, in Beze, instead of, he is not, we use the contraction, he isn't. Is he a police officer? Well, who are we looking at? He does not look like a police officer. So I think the answer is no, he isn't. When you have only one, mm -hmm, only one person or only one thing, for example, a police officer, we will say, if you remember from yesterday, si recuerden de ayer, we will have the word a, a, a. So instead of, in vez de one police officer, vamos decir a police officer, a police officer. Okay, so let's maybe move to the next one and we'll look at a different question or I'm trying to move forward. Did it work? Yes, it did. Oh, okay. Good. Good for you. Okay, I'm always cool. looking at this girl with this. Ooh. Another question. Is she, is she an engineer? Is she an engineer? First question. How many people? One. Is it a man or a woman? Is a woman. Therefore, por lo tanto, therefore, we will use the word she. To ask the question, first we start with one form to be, and then after we have our subject, she. Is she an engineer? Now, again, de nuevo, Again, we have only one, excuse me, we have only one person. So, the one person, we will not say the engineer, we will say a. Uh. We cannot say, is she one engineer? No. Instead of one, we use un an engineer we say un because it is an engineer excuse me pronunciation an an engineer con the a and the n because when we have one vowel the following word or the previous word will start with an n mm -hmm. Is she an engineer? Okay. Is she an engineer? Yes, she is. Or no, she isn't. Okay. Let's watch one video to show more open and closed questions with occupations. Occupations are words like doctor, um, teacher, scientist, uh, police officer, nurse, etc. Pilot. Did you take me off? No. Can you mute me?
Am I a teacher? Are you a doctor? Is he an engineer? Is she a nurse? Is it a dog? Are we happy? Okay. Are we happy? Are we happy? What is the subject? We. So for the question, we need one form of our subject, right? We are happy. But to make one question, primero, first we use the verb to be, are. And then you have your subject, we. Are we happy? Are we happy? The answer is either yes, we are, or no, we aren't. Let's continue. Happy. Are we happy? You see with the following questions below, can we go back just a touch? Just a touch. Yeah. I used. Do you see the questions below? Am I a teacher? Are you a doctor? Beautiful. Is he an engineer? Is she a nurse? Is it a dog? Are we happy? Are you students? You are students. So what is the question here? You are students. How do I change this for a question? Are you students? All right. Yeah, we can play it like normal. Thank you. Are you students? Are they cars? Are they cars? Now, answer the... Yes, I'm a nurse. Sure. Um, are you a nurse? Yes, I'm a nurse. Okay. Are you a butcher? Yes, I am. No, I am not a butcher. No, I am not. Pause me and put me back on. Okay. Now you see with the answer, the positive answer that we have here, I, I don't see me on the screen, am I on? Okay, cool. Um, with the positive answer we have, are you a nurse? Your answer is, yes, I am a nurse, long, yes, I am a nurse, or short, 
Yes, I am. Yeah. No more. Both are equal and both are good. You can say, yes, I am a nurse or yes, I am. And that's it. For the negative answer that we have, you can say, no, I am not a butcher. Woo, very long. No, I am not a butcher. Or the short answer, no, I'm not. Yeah. No, I'm not a butcher. No, I'm not. All right, let's continue. No, I am not. I am a barber. I'm a barber. Okay. Am, is he an engineer? Yes, he is an engineer. Yes, he is an engineer. Long. What is the short? Yes, he is. Yeah. Yes. Yes, he is. He is. Perfect. Is he an engineer? Is he an engineer? No, he isn't an engineer. Oof, again. Long. No, he isn't an engineer. Or short. No, he isn't. Perfect. No, he isn't. Let's do one more. No, he isn't. He is a butcher. That does not look like a butcher. <laughs> it's the same word, butcher. <laughs> okay. A butcher is a person who cuts the meat for you in the grocery store. Is yes. she a nurse? Is she a nurse? She is a nurse? Yes, she is a nurse. Or the short answer, yes, she is. Yes, she is. Mm -hmm. Is she a nurse? No, she isn't a nurse. Okay, again, for the negative, you will see... No, she isn't a nurse. No, she isn't a nurse. Or the short answer, no, she isn't. Yeah. Great. Okay, next question. No, she isn't. She looks like a waitress. No, she isn't. No, she isn't. She is a waitress. All right. This will be the last one, and then we'll return to our PowerPoint. Is it a cat? Is it a cat? Yes, it is a cat. Okay, again, long answer. Yes, it is a cat. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, short. Both are equal. The long, yes, it is a cat. And the short. Yes, it is. Both are equal. Is it a dog? No, it isn't a cat. Or is it a cat? No, it's a dog. No, it isn't. Mm -hmm. No, it isn't. It's a dog. No, it isn't. Okay. It is a dog. Let's go back and look at some more vocabulary words in our PowerPoint. Okay. Is she an engineer? Was the last thing we talked about. Is she an engineer? Now. Aha! Now we have the word they. Do you remember the word they? They is when you have two, three, four people. Include, no, those people. They, they. For the question, again, de nuevo, 
again, you have one form to be. And then you have your subject. Are they? Are they firefighters? Firefighters are the people who go to fight a fire, who go to stop the fire in an emergency. Are they firefighters? For the answer, you have your verb and your subject and you say simply, yes, they are. Or in the negative, no, they aren't. Okay? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Are they lawyers? Are they lawyers? For my Spanish friends, the word lawyer is uh, abogado o abogada. In English, the word lawyer or attorney, two names, one thing is the same. Lawyer, attorney is equal. And with a lawyer, you can say, excuse me, are they the lawyers? For your case, they are specific lawyers. Are they the lawyers for your case? No, they are not. Here, again, you can use the contraction. No, they're not. She's the lawyer for my case. If you want to talk about something specific, for example, this is the cup of coffee that I will drink right now. It is something specific. It is something specific. The lawyers. Yes, there is only one, but because it is something specific, we will use the word the. Now let's take a test. If you remember from yesterday, we did a test. We played a game called Kahoot to practice with the vocabulary. Today, it's exactly the same. Did you get the link? Did everyone get the link? There's supposed to be a link in the comment section below. Come below and click the link. And then enter the code 56.
All right. Toda la entrada. La música está terminada, porque creo que también. Okay. ¿Qué le listo? ¿Quién más? Qué bueno. Okay, ¿cuántas personas hay? Aha, there we go. Somos listos? Va. All right. We have one, and the word doctor no empieza con un vocal. Si se empieza con un vocal, tenemos que decir a, uh, a, uh, an. You need to say an. All right. A uh, doctor. Next one. I can't see it, so I'm going to wait. Okay. Finish the sentence. Okay. quick because we don't want to look at the score it's not wildly important they'll review it at the end Are so dry. Um, an astronaut. Okay. 
Let's skip the scoreboard and move forward. Perfect, beautiful. job guys fantastic job okay I think last one is this the last one How did we do? Can we try an? An and the. Chef starts with a C and not a vowel. So it should be a chef. A chef. I'm sorry, Kelly, about the music. Vamos a dejar la música mañana o por la clase en jueves. Uh, lo siento sobre la música. Um, I'm sorry about the music. Kelly is commenting on it it's in the back. Okay. Let's look at one video that talks about A and M. With <laughs> The difference between a and an in English. A and an have the same meaning. They are both indefinite articles. But when do we use a and when do we use an? The difference depends on the sound at the beginning of the next word. When the next word starts with a consonant sound, we use the article a. Sometimes you will hear a pronounced as a. Let's look at the following examples. Book begins with a b sound, b, which is a consonant. So we use the article a before it. A book or a book. All of the following words begin with a consonant sound. So we say a book, a car, a dog, a frog, a lemon, a truck. When the next word starts with a vowel sound, we use the article an. Remember, the vowels in English are a, e, i, i, o, u. Let's look at the examples. Apple begins with an a sound, which is a vowel. So we use the article an before it. We 
say an apple. All of the following words begin with a vowel sound. So we say an apple, an egg, an insect, an orange, an umbrella, an actor. But you need to be careful. It is the sound of the letter that is important, not just what is written. For example, here we have two nouns, house and hour. What article do we put before each one? A or an? We say a house because it begins with an H sound, a consonant sound. But what do we use before the word hour? We say an hour. Why? Because the H at the beginning of the word hour is silent. So the first part that is pronounced has a vowel sound. An hour. The next examples. The word uncle begins with a vowel sound. So we use the article an before it. An uncle. But what about the word university? We say a university. Why? The U at the beginning of university sounds like U, a consonant sound. So we say a university. This rule applies to all words that come after a and an, not just nouns, but also adjectives and adverbs. And Etc. Let's look at these examples. What do we put before each of these? A or an? We say a cold day, a very crazy person, and a red apple. Apple begins with a vowel sound, but there is another word before it, the adjective red, which starts with a consonant sound. What is important is the word that comes immediately after the article a or an. Let's look at the next examples. What article do we use? before these ones. We say an easy lesson, an interesting class, an amazing day, because the word that comes immediately after the article begins with a vowel sound. Let's practice. Do we use a or an before each of the following? Elephant. An elephant. Pencil. A pencil. Story. A story. Octopus. An octopus, big egg, a big egg, ugly dog, an ugly dog, artist, an artist, hospital, a hospital. Unicorn, a 
unicorn because it starts with a U sound, a consonant sound. Interesting book. An interesting book. I don't like my job. What do you do? I'm a babysitter. Is that a lot of work? Babies cry all the time. You have to change their diapers. I have to feed them. Are you looking for another job? No, I'm looking for another family. Another family? A family with only one baby. That's a good idea. Okay, cool. So tomorrow we have the conversation class. Today there is no homework. You're welcome. But on Thursday, yes, we will assign you homework for you to read, for you to practice. And don't forget to practice your irregular verbs your regular verbs with pronunciation. And um, we will see you if you can come tomorrow for the conversation class. It will be very good. We have the time in the morning between 10 and 1 p.m. and in the afternoon between 5 and 7 p.m. The class is only in the school physically so if you are in San Antonio, Texas, you are welcome to come to the class. You can bring your friends or your family and we will practice a conversation. You can come for part of the time or all of the time. For my friends who speak Spanish, Mañana, en día miércoles, vamos a tener una clase de conversación. 
Si quieren asistir por esta clase de conversación, es solamente en, las, uh, en, en, en la escuela físicamente y eh, tenemos dos tiempos disponibles. Tenemos un tiempo en la mañana, empezamos a las 10 y terminamos a la 1 en la tarde. Y en la tarde tenemos también una otra clase de conversación, empezamos a las 5 y terminamos a las 7. Es tu opción si quieres asistir por uno o los dos, por poco tiempo o por todo el tiempo. Y también puedes invitarse en cualquier persona de familia, amigos, lo que sea, para asistir contigo, para practicar de hablar en inglés. I hope that you have a very good day. Be safe. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your time and your patience and your energy. Ah, ¿cuál es la dirección? Oh, okay, I'll write it. ¿Lo ves? Vamos a poner en el chat. Vamos a poner en el chat la dirección. Uh, 8705. 8705. Miss Virginia está poniendo nuestra dirección exacto por la escuela. Este 8705, no, 8705, BOTS, B-O-T-T-S, Lane, San Antonio, Texas, 78217, 8705, BOTS, Lane, perfecto. So, espero uh, que nos vemos mañana. I hope that we see you tomorrow just to practice our conversation. If you have any questions, You can put your questions in the link below. Thank you again for your time and your patience. You are wonderful students. I hope that you have a good day. Rest and relax. And don't forget to practice, 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 because practice makes perfect. Thank you, and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>